Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I wanted to talk to you guys about shopping your own closet. Here in front of you guys today, this is an example of me shopping my own closet. This is the Preston and York clutch bag. I don't know the exact name of this bag because I purchased her from the thrift store probably about two years ago. If you followed me at the be very beginning stages of my YouTube channel, this was one of the very first videos that I did on my channel was when I first came across this beauty at my local red, white, and blue thrift store. I paid about $11 for this bag and this is a 100% genuine leather bag. Now when I talk about shopping your own closet, um, me being a handbag enthusiast, of course we're always seeing new bag releases and oftentimes we're chasing the next new bag that a designer house just released without actually taking the time to look at the bags in our own closet. And a perfect example of this was the Coach Hamptons bag. If you watched one of my previous videos, I talked about the five Coach bags that I almost bought last year in 2023. And in that video, I mentioned how the Preston and York clutch is quite similar to the Coach Hamptons bag. I think that if we all took the time to shop our own closet, it would help us appreciate what we own already and it would also help us to hopefully see that what we already have sitting right in our closet is actually better than what's out in the stores right now today. So again, here's the perfect example of what has been sitting in my closet for the last two years that is quite comparable to the Coach Hamptons bag. That bag comes in the color pink and it also comes in a variety of other colors which I'll pop up here on the screen. But here is my version of shopping my own closet. As you can see here on this bag, I did tie my newly acquired silk skinny scarf that I purchased from the Coach Boutique in Honolulu. I did purchase this scarf. It was about, I think it was $75. And I thought it paired really nicely with this Preston and York clutch bag, especially with the pops of pink at the tips of the scarf. And there's also other little pops of blues and yellows and greens. I'm not sure if you guys could see with my camera quality, but I think it looks so lovely on this bag. Let me know what you think about this combination in the comment section down below. As I was saying, I believe that my Preston and York clutch bag is better than the newly designed Coach Hamptons bag for a couple of reasons. Uh, the first one being is of course the price. I only paid $11 for this bag. The Coach Hamptons bag currently retails at the Coach Boutique for $295. So my version is nowhere close to the newly designed Coach Hamptons bag. Uh, the second reason why I think that my Preston and York clutch is better than the Coach Hamptons bag is because of the snap button closure in the front. As you can see here, it just has a standard snap button closure, really easy to use. Now, a few weeks ago, I was actually watching another YouTuber's video uh, where she mentioned how her Coach Hamptons bag, it has a kind of a clasp in the front and she was mentioning how the clasp on the front as far as getting in and out of the bag was a bit cumbersome. If I can find that content creator's video, I'll be sure to uh, link her channel and her video for that bag down in the description box below so you can check it out at your leisure. But yes, I think that the snap button closure is a lot more user friendly. A third reason why I think that my Preston and York clutch bag is better than the Hamptons bag is because it has a back slip pocket, which is perfect for your phone. 
I'm still using my iPhone 13 and this is the case that it comes in and as you can see it slips perfectly in the back slip pocket of this bag and it doesn't bulge out too much I don't think you don't see it protruding through the bag too much I think it's just perfect so any bag where you can slip your phone in the back is game changer. Another reason why I prefer my Preston and York bag over the Coach Hamptons bag is because of the strap option. So inside, I just have the bag currently stuffed at the moment, but this bag actually has a chain strap with the leather bits kind of interwoven into the chain. Whereas the Hamptons bag from Coach, it just comes with a standard leather strap. And then of course with this bag, you do have the option to tuck the chain strap inside of the bag and then you can just simply wear it as a clutch. And the last and final reason why I believe that my Preston and York clutch is better than the Coach Hamptons bag is because of the leather on this bag. Um, inside, I'm just going to open her up one more time and pull out the lining. According to the tag here, is made out of 100% genuine leather. And hopefully you guys can see that. And for those of you who aren't aware of about the Coach Hamptons bag, that bag is made out of glove tanned leather. And to my surprise, when I actually went into the Coach Boutique and felt the leather on the Hamptons bag, I was a bit disappointed. It didn't feel quite as nice as the leather on my Preston and York clutch bag. So I know I wish we had feel a vision, but I, I think that the leather on this bag feels a lot better than the glove tanned leather that Coach currently uses on the Hamptons bag. I'm not sure when exactly this bag was made, but my guess is that it is that it is vintage. My guess is that it was probably made in the early to mid 2000s. And like I said, to me, in my opinion, I feel that the leather on this bag, it feels a lot better than the glove tanned leather that Coach is using on their bags today, specifically the Hamptons bag. I also want to mention too that if you are having a hard time resisting some of the newer styles that are coming out, you can still shop and that is okay. I mean in this case, I purchased the new floral print scarf that Coach has in their boutique now and this scarf currently retails for $75 and all I did was tie it around this bag but I can also use this scarf on other bags in my handbag collection and I can also use it as an accessory in my hair or wear it as a belt. I did do a short last year on my channel when Coach released their floral print scarf from last year. I'll be sure to link it up above but yes you can always purchase something uh, from the designer houses such as Coach that's uh, significantly cheaper. You know $75 is a lot better than spending $295 on a whole new bag. And all you have to do is simply take that accessory piece, in this instance, this silk skinny scarf, and just tie it around an older bag that you currently have in your collection. An older bag that looks quite similar to the newer bag that they have sitting in their boutique right now. So anyway, that's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it, or I hope something about it resonated with you. If it did, please give it a thumbs up. Also consider subscribing to my YouTube channel, and let me know what your thoughts are about shopping your own closet. Have you been shopping your own closet lately, or are there newer bag styles that you're drawn to that you hope to make a purchase on in the future? Let us know in the comment section down below. As always, thank you so much for watching, and until next time, take care. Bye-bye.